Hi, welcome back to Humble Homemaking. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I talk about all things homemaking, parenting, faith, and femininity. And today's video is a reaction video to the makeup guru or makeup YouTuber named Michelle Grace. This video is about her beating her two-year-old because she destroyed a Jeffree Star makeup palette. So I am going to be watching it on the screen right in front of me and I'm going to be reacting to it to see if it is bad as everybody says that it is on the internet. Because I've seen some pretty crazy, outrageous comments. So we are going to watch it together. I've got my pineapple juice and I've got my headphones. Here we go. <laughs> oh wow, she's recording no, she right me. after beating her child's butt. Unbelievable. My two-year-old just got her ass beat. Because no matter how many times I tell her not to mess with my makeup, she never fucking listens. I put it away to where she can't find it. And what does she do? She finds it. At this point, I need a freaking safe with a combination. That'd probably be probably be smart if if it's that big of a deal to you. She has ruined two palettes of mine, and one of them is being discontinued. One second, my hand hurts because I just beat the crap out of her. Not literally. But I told her Wait a minute. Lesson. So your hand hurts because you just beat the crap out of her, but not literally. Me. You must and have hit her pretty hard if your hand hurts. But I don't normally, I don't normally spank my child unless I absolutely have to, and usually it's just a pop, and it's it barely hurts. She cries for like five seconds. <sighs> but y'all, I'm sick of it. She's two and a half. She's in her terrible twos. She's gonna do whatever the hell no she wants to. No such thing as terrible she, shoes. She knows she's not supposed to do it. She's gonna do it. Don't get me wrong. Ninety-five percent of the time, she's a good. She's a good kid. But there are just some times where I want to just scream and pull my hair out. There are not enough words in the dictionary to describe how mad I am. She kept trying to get into my James Charles palette. I kept having to move it, and I kept having to put it away, and I kept having to walk it away. She would always find it. One night, I fell asleep early, so did she, but she woke up in the middle of the night. She had managed to get out of her crib, find my palette, find Windex. I don't know half the hell she found Windex, but thank God she didn't, like, ingest it. Maybe you didn't. Because that would have been a fucking disaster. Walk it up underneath the sink but like you should? I wake up to her giggling. I'm like, what are you doing? And I smell something and I'm like what are you messing with and I get up and I go over there she had sprayed Windex all over her crib all over her sheets all over her pillow and all over my James Charles palette <sighs> now I was mad but I was like you know what at that time James Charles was kind of cancelled and um it wasn't hard to find his palette. A couple nights later, she got into the same palette. Again. After I locked it away. She destroyed the whole thing. Dug into it. Had it all over her crib. All over her. All over her sheets again. Even though I just changed her sh Just got her a new pillow. She ruined my James Charles palette. Ruined my James Charles palette twice. I was not happy, but I was like, you know what? It's fine. I can go buy a new one when I can afford it. It took me until after Christmas to buy a new one because I'm freaking broke. I can't afford to buy makeup all the time. And it was literally my favorite palette. Then don't buy it. Now, I do, I do have one now to replace it because I got, uh, I had a gift card from Ulta, um, for Christmas, but, uh... You know, I had to wait until after Christmas to get it. 
I wasn't, I wasn't happy, but it was whatever. Lately, she has been trying to get into all of my palettes. Even though I put them away a couple nights ago, she decided to get my conspiracy palette. Of course, I managed to get it away from her before she did anything to it. But she also got into my alien palette. And for those of you who know Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Where are you, you know the alien palettes? is being are you discontinued. Them in the back I can't afford because it's to so buy another fifty-two, them. fifty-four Look dollar palette high. right now. As much as I would love to have every single one of the the Blood Sisters, Blood Sugar, Blue Blood, and Bloodlust, I can't dumb afford names it. For these things. I wow. was barely able to afford the alien story, palette, and but... I was barely able to get the conspiracy palette because it was a birthday present to me from my grandma. And maybe you shouldn't and have bought it. she actually did get into the alien palette and did mess with the black, but I was like, you know, it's fine, whatever, you didn't mess with the other colors. Well, a couple of days later, she found the alien palette again, and she messed with the black again, you know, I was like, whatever, I have blacks and other palettes, it's not that big of a deal. beat some taller ass tonight because I'm sitting here about to film a video and I start to smell something weird okay the smell that I was smelling it smelled like ranch okay and I was like wait where did, when did I have ranch and I remembered I had chicken nuggets earlier and I had ranch on the plate and I just set it behind me on the bed I was like, well, why is she messing with the well, that's plate? Lazy. You should have so put I it turned the sink. around. I'm trying. I'm still trying to calm down from it, but she had the alien palette, a paintbrush, was smearing ranch on every single one of the shades, and on the mirror. So right now, my alien palette literally looks like this and smells disgusting she ruined my alien palette and it's being discontinued and i cannot afford to buy it and i love this palette this is the first jeffree star palette i have ever had i was so proud of it when i bought it because i worked my ass off to be able to even afford it i really just want to cry right now you know when you work your butt off for something and you save up and you save up and you save up to buy something. It's literally like a child. You treat it like a child. Like my conspiracy palette. Says the woman that just beat James her child palette, for, for, they're all like for my doing children. something I protect to her them makeup. With my life. An inanimate object with that is not alive. Life. I'm upset. I, was not, I tried to see if there was a way that I could Meanwhile, fix her child like, crying scrape in the, the other top room, of him off, but there's not. Protecting her with her life, she's dug you know? into him. She's just... The ranch has just seeped through, and I guess that's what I get for leaving ranch on my bed. I was literally just through. eating chicken nuggets. Yeah. Literally, you should just have, should have just taken your plate to the well, sink and rinsed like, it I off, and that wouldn't have happened. Gave her a good butt whooping. I hope she learns. And I know she won't because she's a dollar. She's, she's gonna not, do what she she's wants two. to do. She's I don't know. Two. I'm just like really depressed now. You're depressed over beating your child? Like, I just wanna cry. I know this is a stupid reason to cry, but the fact that. I can't oh, afford you're depressed to get a new one, and I probably won't ever wow. be able to get a new one wow. because it's, it's being she's discontinued. Wow, she's depressed over hurting kind of her child sucks. over it. She's depressed over her ranch-smelling, ranch-scented alien palette. This is ridiculous. I'm done complaining, this is, I guess. This is depressing to me. I'm just... I don't know. I'm sad. I'm really sad. That's it. Wow. That's this week's video. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, you poor thing. <gasps> okay, so a few things. Um, okay, so the beginning, when she said... Take this off so I can sit back again. So the beginning of the video when she said something about um, her child being ter in her terrible twos. There is no such thing as terrible twos. It's not like her child's gonna wake up on her third birthday and be like, Oh, I get it now, Mom. I get it. I understand the world. I understand life. No. 
that's, that's not how it works, okay? Go watch my video. Second, I've, I've never been obsessed with makeup like that. I don't understand the addiction to certain brands and palettes. It's not that big of a deal to me, but I'm sorry if you, she said multiple times that she couldn't afford the palette or she couldn't afford it right now. Maybe, maybe that's a sign that you shouldn't waste your money on expensive palettes. Maybe you should just stick with things that you can afford. That way, if they are damaged by your two year old, you're not going to cry about it. You're not going to beat her, excuse my French, beat her ass about it. That's, that's ridiculous. And you know, as a parent, as a parent of a two year old that does my makeup with my two year old in the room, it is, it is hard to do things with a two year old, but you have to make sacrifices as a parent. I buy makeup that fits my budget. This means that I don't buy those $54 palettes because I don't want those $54 palettes even if they did fit my budget, but I'm going to buy more affordable makeup. And I do have some cheaper makeup from the dollar store that I let Atlas play with when I'm doing my makeup. One, it keeps him busy and makes him feel like he's a part of it. Two, it keeps him out of my better makeup. So the fact that she doesn't see that her daughter just wants to do her makeup like her mom because her mom is she's she's watching her mom she's watching everything her mom does and she just wants to do what her mom is doing is really sad to me she's acting like this two-year-old is like on the on the mission to go and destroy her precious Jeffree Star and whatever other nonsense palette she named off no her daughter just wants to be like her and do her makeup like her because she sees her mom doing it her mom is probably her biggest idol and the only person around that she gets to watch all the time like that so for her not to see that is just crazy to me and also like if you are about to record a YouTube video take it from me you just you have to figure out things that you're going to keep your child busy when you're recording I don't rec start just recording a video just out of the blue without making sure that my son is taken care of and my son is, is busy doing something in the background now if he's having a worse day I will put him in something that I can lock him in like a high chair and I will put stuff on the tray for him that he can have fun with while I'm recording a video or I will put him on the floor with something right next to me so that he is keeping himself busy on the floor. The next thing is you're being outsmarted by a two-year-old. What does that say about you? I, I'm not even trying to be mean but if your two-year-old outsmarts you and you keep moving your makeup and you keep moving things around and locking things up maybe you're not doing a good enough job with locking things up and hiding things from your two-year-old if you're being outsmarted by her. Put it up high, go to Home Depot, buy a piece of wood, buy some brackets for the wall, and make a shelf up high, up above where she can't reach. It's pretty simple. How? It's under $20 to go to Home Depot. And then you can put your makeup up, and you know she won't be able to get it up there. And you have to think, you have to use your brain as a parent, and you have to make sacrifices as a parent. I can't have things on the coffee table like I want to. I can't put candles on the coffee table like I want to. I can't put my makeup out on my dresser like I want to because I know my son's going to get into it. I know this phase isn't going to last forever. I know one day he'll understand not to touch certain things, not to get into certain things, but right now I as a parent have to make those sacrifices to move things around, to make sure that he's not going to get into anything to make sure that something is not going to get destroyed or he's not going to be hurt by something because I want to be selfish and leave my makeup around or leave my candles around or whatever you know I'm just using different examples here because again I'm not addicted to makeup like that but this is just ridiculous this just makes me so mad and I think what makes me even more mad is the fact that she recorded the video right after beating her child that just frustrates me so much that's just, you, you have to, when you're disciplining your child, I'm not for beating your child, I'm not for spanking your child. I am for disciplining them and teaching them that something is wrong and something should not be done. So if, if for example, Atlas gets into my makeup, I will tell him that he broke it and I will pretend to be sad in front of him or I will show my emotions. Maybe I'm really upset about something and I'll show my emotions and say, Atlas, this hurt mommy. This made me really sad. You can't expect a child to understand you just because you hit them. You can't expect a child to understand you just because you told them no so many times. It's not going to work like that. You have to make sacrifices and 
you know, I do, I have seen a lot of comments on here saying CPS needs to get involved and she needs her daughter taken away from her. No, I don't believe that she needs her child to be taken from her. I don't believe CPS needs to be called in this. But Michelle Grace, that's her new name. Is that her name? Is that her name? Yes. Michelle Grace, if you are watching, please, for the love of God, please understand that your child looks up to you. She wants to be like you, and she wants to play in makeup just like she sees you do. That's why she's so obsessed with finding your makeup is because she admires you, and she wants to do the things that you want to do. So maybe... I don't even know if you're going to still record videos after this because this probably gave you a really bad reputation. Unless you come back from it and you don't justify your reaction, maybe you can come back from it. But if you do, I strongly suggest that you find things that she enjoys doing that you don't mind her getting messy with or destroying while you are recording your YouTube videos. And I strongly suggest that you find a better place for your makeup. Stop putting it back in the same spot. Stop putting it to where she can reach it. If you put it six feet up the wall, she can't get it. You might struggle getting your own makeup yourself, but is that a lot better than your child getting into it and you getting mad about it? And the last thing I wanna say is stop being so obsessed over material items. It's a material item, why would you want to, you don't want to treat a materialistic item like your child. You're idolizing a material item. Stop acting like it's your child, it's not your child, Michelle. Use Michelle as an example and don't do what she did, okay? There are better ways to discipline your child, there are better ways to teach them right from wrong, but when they are two, they do not understand. I will link my There Is No Such Thing As Terrible Twos video down below and I suggest that anybody who is watching this video go and watch that video too because that explains how the baby's brain works and our brains fully form to where we understand true right from wrong and logic so and it's definitely not two years old <laughs> or three or four okay so that, that there's your hint so go and watch that don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and leave me a comment and I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.